Hello, my name is Ryan Ryder, and this is my audience. The topic of my persuasive speech is why you should exercise on a regular basis. Do you want to be sharper at work or school? Feel less tired? How about being able to enjoy some of your favorite foods without guilt? I'm going to discuss with you why exercise and staying active is beneficial to your health. There are many reasons why you should exercise besides just to lose weight. In this speech, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you about a few uh, benefits of exercise that aren't always talked about. Lack of exercise can cause several health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and stress. According to Healthfully, it has been proven that lack of exercise or sedentary lifestyle can lead to heart disease. Studies have also shown that people who don't exercise have a higher risk of depression. Obesity can have a negative effect on your blood pressure, cholesterol, and can even lead to, the, to diabetes in your future. You also have a greater chance at death at an early age if you do not exercise. Children who are overweight are at a high risk for developing health problems as well. This is why it is so important to participate in some sort of physical activity every day. On the other hand, exercise can improve your life in many different ways. You, our bodies are meant to move. According to the Mayo Clinic, exercise benefits every part of your body. It helps you feel better, have more energy, and contributes to your life expectancy. Exercise improves your mood and decreases feelings of stress, anxiety, and depression. It also increases the production of endorphins, which are known to help you feel more energized, peaceful, and happy. It also helps a lot with stress. In the article, Seven Surprising Benefits of Exercise, uh, it says that for years we focused almost exclusively on the physical benefits of exercise and really haven't have ignored the psychological and emotional benefits of being regularly active. Studies are finding that exercise can boost brain health tremendously. According to Medical News Today, evidence that exercise can benefit the brain and help maintain cognitive function, including memory, is accumulating. Physical activity increases your heart rate, which promotes <clears throat> the flow of blood and oxygen to your brain. Studies also suggest that exercise is a good way to prevent or delay the onset of Alzheimer's diseases and diseases similar to that. Exercise plays a vital role in building and maintaining strong muscles. As people age, they tend to lose muscle mass and function, which can lead to many injuries, as simple as falls and things like that. Also, exercise can help build bone density. Um, you can build bone density in high school by playing more of like contact sports, so like Basketball, soccer, football are more better sports for that. Exercise can be a real energy booster as well. It can help reduce the feelings of fatigue and help you sleep better. But the most obvious reason to exercise is for the weight loss. According to Healthline, interestingly, it doesn't matter how intense your workout is. You can benefit from exercise no matter the intensity of the physical activity. It is recommended to try and get 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. I'm a free sport athlete. I play volleyball, basketball, and I run track. And in my off season, like in the summer, I can definitely tell the difference in my mood and my sleep patterns. I usually wake up in the middle of the night. And I also am more, I eat more healthy and just take care of my body more when I'm in the sports. So from a personal experience, I can definitely tell the difference. Uh, we should all be in the habit of exercising regularly. Regularly, though. Exercising with a friend can help you be more accountable and it can make your workout less boring. I'm not saying you have to go to a high intensity workout every day, like going and running a 5K or maxing out in the weight room, but you can do things as simple as going for a walk, a 10 minute jog, or even just taking the stairs instead of the elevator at work. I hope I have encouraged you to become more physically active because your quality of life depends on it. The choice is yours. Don't wait until tomorrow. Start today.